It was a plan that was just officially approved this week. And just to paint the picture for you, if you look at the pole stop across the street, you can see that there's plenty of seating. There's shade for people as they're waiting for the bus. But if you come over uh, this way on the street, you can see that this bus stop right here, there's really nothing there, nowhere for people to sit. There's no shelter, but this project aims to fix situations just like that. Running errands in Willow Lawn made easier for Sharice and Rawl with the help of GRTC. Because it's convenient to get you where you need to go without being in traffic a long time. And, you know, the drivers are friendly and the buses are clean. Because it's a comfortable ride and it takes me from point A to point B. But what's not comfortable is waiting for a ride. We just need more benches in shelters. Right now, only 5% of GRTC's 1,600 bus stops have coverings and just 21% of them have seating. You know, just makes the day a little easier when you're transitioning from home to work or work to home, whichever the situation is, to have somewhere to sit. Especially when the sun is real hot or if the rain starts to fall, you don't want to be standing at the bus stop if there's no cover. The good news though, GRTC has a plan to fix that. On Tuesday, the transit company's board approved a five-year plan that aims to get a bench or a shelter installed at at least 50% and potentially up to 75% of bus stops by 2027. I think it's very aggressive, but uh, you know what, you've got to have goals to work for. Uh, it's all going to depend on how well we can get the funding. GRTC needs to secure at least $11 million to fund the project and will look to a wide range of sources for money, including federal grants and local business partnerships. Sam Sink says because of strict regulations like permitting, right of ways and environmental standards, it could take some time before you start seeing progress. Yeah, so we've already started putting the wheels in motion to kind of get these things going and kind of check our regulatory boxes, but I think riders will start seeing shelters and benches installed uh, in mass really starting next summer. Some riders tell the problem solvers that benches and shelters lead to safety concerns. Because of issues at this location on North Avenue, GRTC actually plans to replace the cover and remove the seating. Sink says they're also teaming up with the city and counties to ramp up cleaning and trash pickup at stops. We're still kind of working on how we're going to handle that increased workload as we put more of this infrastructure out there. While riders are hopeful to wait with dignity. It makes a difference. It makes you feel more are, um, comfortable and you know appreciated for keeping the buses running because without us you know what would they do and GRTC will use two factors to decide which bus stops receive priority that's ridership and equity working for you in Richmond I'm Tyler Lane CBS 6 News